Dun -dun 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 -dun. I'm doing the music because it's not up yet. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Hi. <laughs> I am very sleepy today. <laughs> mm. Anyway, good morning, everybody. I am Omni Rusted. Welcome back to XCOM Long War. Uh, we're doing a special thing today, uh, which I want to start doing on normally on Wednesdays. Uh, where the questions are started. We're doing a hashtag Omni Educates because I have, I think the last time it was tested was 169 IQ. But that was like way long ago, like way, way long ago before I developed a lot of learning disabilities um, and a lot of, uh, a lot of, well, to be perfectly honest, brain damage. Uh, but I know a lot of very useless information, so um, ask me literally any freaking question, and I will either go on a tangent about it, or talk about it, or educate about it, uh, while playing XCOM Long War, if I have the brain power. I might pause for a second to make sure that I have the brain power, but we're going to start with Hyper Grenade. Good morning. Uh, if butter can be turned into cheese, can cheese be turned in back into butter? No. Uh, uh, turning butter into cheese, or turning milk into cheese, uh, is a chemical process. Um that uh, is, is, pa is called pasteurization. Uh, so cheese is made from cheese curds, which is made from straight milk. Uh, you cannot turn cheese back into butter because you would have to reverse the pasteurization process, which is a chemical process. So no, you could not. Um, what was I doing yesterday? I'm pretty sure we're just going straight back to whatever we were doing. Uh, Eclipse is still alive. Look at that. We have to be alive this time. We did have to, uh... Bronze man, the last one. Which was, which was understandable. I mean, it was, a, it was a thing that happened. We have 130 credits. Uh, we're working on the thermal generator right now. And a satellite uplink. We also got a satellite in the works. Let's just go straight on to that button. Is there any reason that America won't switch to the metric system? Or are we just being stubborn? Just stubbornness. 100% stubbornness. Uh, it has a historical reason because, uh, way back in the day... Um, and I'm talking like way back in the day, there was um, a shipping magnet, magnate, magnate with an A, um, that sort of demanded that we use it and then turned everybody on to it, demanded that all shipping, all people who did uh, sea, uh, sea ocean, 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 I'm still waking up, you can tell I'm still waking all ocean shipping demanded that they use the empirical system and uh then america just stuck with it but like everybody who is important scientists well really scientists are the only important people um use the metric system no problem me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things and like we share the yes. fact that we without a shut up i don't care uh we share the fact that we only use the empirical system and everybody else in the world uses the metric system which is still like a, a an ancient system, by the way, with like two other countries, which are almost unheard. Like they're they're not big countries like Burma and one other. Um, but like they're actually redoing the metric system right now, which is a really interesting thing because the metric system is based on a uh, like a, a weight that was made way 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 back in the day. Now the the, the metric system makes a hell of a lot more sense in the way that it does its measurements and maths. Um. God, I need to wake up this morning. I am so out of it. I might actually get the targeting module. I've never used it before, but if I start going for crit infantry, it might actually work a little bit better. Uh, we're gonna rush alien weaponry next. I, I want to rush my beam we my beam weapon. I'm still having a hard time grasping. And now we'll start getting. If I remember requests. It's one satellite right now. We're gonna start getting uh, requests for alien bits now. Um, anyway, it was based on a weight that was made back in like I think 1200 or the 800, and it stayed there, but has never really actually been a standard weight size. They're actually changing what the standard weight size is right now to reflect worldwide what it should be. How do chromosomes work? I have many people I know talk about them. I don't know what it is. In what context? If you're talking about, I mean, chromosomes are a, uh,
God damn, maybe I should be more awake for this if we're gonna do a Omni Educates Wednesday. <laughs> I'm like half asleep right now, and I'm probably throwing out a lot of very inaccurate science that I'm Commander, we have not remembering correctly at the moment. Progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Um, I think what you're referring to is chromosomes when it comes to determining gender, because everybody thinks that there's just a, a four more chromosomes and you are a frog. Yeah, your your chromosomes and DNA, while mixed, not the same thing. Um, who do I want to bring on this? Gunner, infantry engineer. I mean, uh, what what are we going to? We're going to one or more small structures in a remote location. Yeah, the kilogram. Watch the videos on any physics. They end up creating a perfect sphere. The carbon twelve has been defined as a perfect kilogram. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they're they're completely redoing what a kilogram is right now. Um, what am I missing here? I'm missing a rocketeer. Kind of want to start working on another infantry too. In fact, I might get hex here into an infantry, just so I have a mostly upgraded infantry. Because at the moment I don't have one. Two engineers, surprisingly. I didn't even mean for that to happen. Um, we've got one of pretty much everything. You know what? Let's let's call this one a sort of a, a leveling mission because it is first month and I could pull that off. Uh, we got two engineers. So I don't need more any more engineers. But I do want to get a good rocketeer. Let's look for some good rocketeer stats here. Which is high aim, high mobility. I don't think I'm going to find that, though. Oh, never mind. Look at this. Baraka Hashim here. Good everything. God damn. God damn. You know what, I actually, like, I will admit, I actually don't know, I, I know that chromosomes, like, everybody has this weird idea of how chromosomes work, and that everybody, like, it's the whole, like, everybody thinks there's only two genders, but there's more like 30-something genders, depending on the chromosomal mix. Um, so, like, I know that, but I don't actually know how DNA specifically works. Also, how's my volumes, by the way? I'm, I'm watching my, my volumes up there. Um... So, in the meantime, we have somebody. You're going to be... What were you going to be again? Infantry. You're going to be an infantry. We'll have a mostly upgraded infantry to start with. And, of course, I'm going crit infantry because crit infantry... I used to go covering fire into suppression with opportunist and get, like, uh, overwatch infantry. But I fell in love with, with crit infantry, so I'm going to make a crit infantry here. I never made the targeting module that I plan to make. Which, actually, that might not even uh, get anything good right now. No, uh, you do not have to have something set up for that. 11 days, though. Ugh, well, I'll make one anyway. I'm going to want one eventually. It's not instant. <coughs> A friend of mine said, if your birthday is one month away, in three years, your birthday will have taken three years and three months. What? That sounds like math. One thing we do need to do, though, we need to uh, customize this guy. Now, for everybody who is uh, who might be new to my XCOM games, what I do for customizing characters is I have a list here. All these names. Whenever anybody in my long war game comes up that is has proven that they can survive, meaning that they are a corporal and have the nickname, that nickname will become somebody who is picked from the random name list. For today, it's Zakam. Zakam is going to be this new infantry. Thank you for the host diaper. And after that, if you like, you can tell me your favorite color. 
and I will change their favorite color. I'm not allowing a hell of a lot of time for people to go crazy on their customizations anymore. I do not do that shit anymore. It takes way too much time out of stream. I pick a cool helmet for you. Why is there little black things here? That's never been there before. And then uh, you can tell me what color you like. I'm not going to spend a hell of a lot of time customizing things. I know this is what Sakam wants. I am changing that helmet though because that is having some weird graphical glitch. Yeah. I know a lot of people don't like that. But, in my opinion, you can deal. Um, check something here. Yeah, Battle Rifle does take one more out of that. Let's... I do like the drum mags. This is plus two ammo. It's negative four penalty to aim, which the laser sight does offset. I think we'll be fine going high cap mags on this one instead, which is just one more shot instead of two. And he'll keep the aim. Since this is early game, I don't want to take away too much of his aim. You're only eight followers away from 600. I am fully aware and I'm very excited. And I have uh, a big giveaway I'm going to be doing at 600 followers. <clears throat> uh, let's go with the SMG. My Rocketeers mostly run forward and then hunker, or uh, not hunger, um, aim. Steady aim, that's the word. So I think what your friend might have been referring to was a misunderstanding of how daylight savings works. Or not daylight savings, uh, uh, leap years works. Yes, there's a, there's a cat. She's taking her place here and she's whining because I'm not petting her. The horror. Are you good smoke? Uh, 1311, that means a med kit for you. Always gotta take a med kit along. Uh, you, I forgot to give attack armor. Uh, you're a 13. Go ahead, grab HE, which I actually did wish that I had brought last time. We're actually lacking flashbangs. I think we're good, though. I'm actually going to swap this out with a flashbang. She's whining because she's not allowed to walk on the keyboard. Do that too. Broke my goddamn last keyboard. All right. Let's go see where we're landing. Prepare for deployment. Yeah, I think your friend is misunderstanding how leap year works. We're going to be putting down in Mexico. That's what I think that was. Current updates from the ground indicate the aliens. Are There's a lot of misinformation on the internet. So, like, if you're confused about something, Google it. You know, uh, like people who think that uh, you're supposed to drink eight cups of water a day. I can do it. Or that essential oils do anything. That, I mean, I guess that's true. Central, big sky in position on approach. No, I'm not petting you. Fuck off. Copy that, big sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. So this is one of my favorite maps. It's an enormous map, though. Um, we're gonna get two to three pa Oh my god, starting out strong. Wow. First turn activation. This, uh, drone is showing off his moonwalking skills. Essential oils do something. Yes, they kill your pets. Well, I mean, there are- aromatherapy, I do believe, works. Personally. Personally, I believe aromatherapy works. You gotta make sure your, uh, that your, uh, pets are not allergic. Considering that my cat is currently wheezing. Uh, like there's I'm really worried about this right now holy shit I might try to grenade these guys just because they're so close and we don't have any cover uh, that's actually a pretty good grenade spot to start with yeah take that um, there's actually a very popular dog whoa All right, that was unexpected. I expected him to do a little bit of damage, not kill everything. Jesus Christ, dude. Plan 
Okay. Anyway, there's a very popular brand of uh uh uh. To that location. It's called dog. It's it, like it's supposed to calm your pet. It's a thing that you plug into the wall, and it puts out a scent that is said to calm pets. It's filled with tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is literally toxic to dogs. So when it calms your dog, it's because your dog can't fucking breathe. Based on what it's being used for, I tried it for congestion. Yes, it, it does help with congestion quite a bit. Uh, any reason the health colors aren't blue anymore instead of green and red? Uh, it's a mod that I installed a while back to tell me when uh, they don't have any more actions left. Damn it, I didn't mean to move them. Like, watch, it changes from green to red because they use their actions. That's it. That's it. Only reason. I gotta catch people up. Of course, the cam hasn't even seen action yet. Okay, let's try and listen. Oh, they're right over there. Okay. I only use- I save my Rocketeers for emergencies. So, don't expect them to really get into combat anytime soon. I do need her to get kills. Okay. But if she does, it's not gonna be in the way you think. You steady. Basically, my Rocketeers always sit with, like, zero kills. And then suddenly, like, jump up to half a dozen in one shot. So, they're not really here to shoot people. What show recently called Adam Ruins Everything? I love that show. Oh my god, I love that show. It's so good. It's so fucking good. Um, there is another show on Netflix. Oh, shit, what is it called? Hold on, I've got to take a second here. There's a show which you have to watch out for on Netflix. Um, what is it called? Shit, I watched it recently. Shit, what was it called? Explained. This, most of its science is fucking wrong. Like, for example, their entire episode on the female orgasm. 95% false information. Of, like, old guys back in the 19, like, 40s. When female hysteria was a thing. Hissed me off. Copy that. Sexist fucking codswallop. I'm on the move. Um, they're still making new episodes of Adam Finish- uh, Adam Ruins Everything. Heading to that uh, they're just on, like, you gotta go to, like, newer- sites that actually show you know stuff that is more recent i watch mine on xfinity demand i'll leave you here i'm gonna come out to the side i do not like the color that you are currently turning also the fact that adam will go back when somebody tells him he did something wrong and will like make a correction on, th on facts that he had wrong, so good. That's one of the major things about learning anything, other than admitting that you don't know shit, is if you're wrong, admit you're wrong. It's a noble thing to admit when you're wrong about something. Or that you had, it, or that you had incorrect information. Okay, they are there. I was kind of wondering where the fuck they were. Um, but that's bad. I did not want to activate them right now. However, we could probably also take this one out. Uh, do we want to do it the same manner? No. I might have to move people back into cover. Uh, unless we just get shit tons of kills by my people already in cover. You. I'm gonna run back. Maybe. You know what? That's 50s. You run back. If Hamadou here gets a kill, then we'll have... We'll see what else everybody else can do, but he had to run back. See, like that, that's a problem. 
that means the cam would have to get a kill and a half. Although with his executioner, he does a good chance of finishing that one off. I will have Tombe here. You know what? Tombe's got a smoke grenade. Managed to find an entertaining way to present the information. Yes, and like these day, this day and age, that's imp um. Excuse me. Zakam didn't have both his shots. I was counting on Zakam having both of his shots. Fuck. I didn't check how many moves Zakam had left. That's on me. It swapped over to Tombe, like, instantly. This is what happens when I'm sleepy. The game had moved once. That's 100% on me. Fuck. Also just made a mistake, but I was confident that this was open up here. Oh, boy. Wow, only one person is able to move right now. If anything, the sectoids might come around this end, but I have a feeling they're in the warehouse. Alright, everybody's able to move again? Good. You done crying? Negative contact. Blue move, don't ever yellow move as a primary move into new territory. I'm on the move. Yeah, I definitely recommend Adam Moon's Everything. It is a great, great show. That's sort of trying to do like a Bill Nye ish kind of educational. Thing, which I love. Make it entertaining while you're learning stuff, which is very important because otherwise people won't pay attention to it these days. Nobody wants to just be droned on and on about by a, prof by a professor, you know? We know the warehouse is clear, so I feel that moving in to have coverage, okay? Okay, they're right here. They're right here. That means they're probably patrolling to the left. I'm going to see if I can catch them in this door. Uh, Zakam won't make it, so you get about here. Hernandez also cannot take a spot. Wow, I expected a little bit better. But the fact that I can move my Rocketeer here might be useful. Uh, Tombe, I'm actually going to have you go here. I'm going to have you come around and check this wall just in case. I got to actually concentrate more on the game itself today. Uh, rather than what I am currently doing, which is concentrating on chat. I love chat. I love you guys. But that is not what I'm supposed to be concentrating on right now. Oh, good activation. Good spot. Very good spot for me. Can I shred her down there? No. It's fine. Uh, but it means I can do sneaky things like these. Let's get you here, watch that corner. That means Tombe here is not going to be as useful as I want. We'll break this open next turn. Have them go out for some flanks. And in the meantime, you guys are here in full cover to hold the line. Just hold it. Get your overwatches up and just hold this corner. I actually think this might be full cover that I should take advantage of now. Yeah, that's full cover. I should take advantage of that next turn. Now they'll know that we have overwatch prepped, so they should not rush this, so they'll probably hold their third one back. As long as they don't have line of sight, good line of sight on anybody. We can sort of hold them off, and these two are going to come in the back. Uh, he does have Overwatch. 
might as well take this shot. And I don't know where the other one is, so we're gonna fu Oh, ri okay. I can barely hit myself with a flashbang and get rid of his overwatch. <laughs> that was weird. Open the door. Uh, he's right here. Which is not a good spot for me. Uh, means I can come here, flank him. You might have to go out and grenade him. Which means the only one that we have to deal with, we have nobody available to go after, is this one. Um, and Zakam doesn't have enough mobility to really get down there and overwatch him. Fuck it, go. Yep, it was an overwatch. Son of a bitch. It missed! Hey, that's actually lucky. I, this is the only way I can really get my Rocketeer kills right now. And what I'd really like to do is get them in a really good spot to overwatch and watch the Rocketeer to prevent flanks from this end or that end. But it's not going to happen unless I get into half cover. I mean, honestly, I should probably just throw a smoke on her. Nah, she, it won't prevent that flank. Half cover flank prevention is going to be better than her getting flanked, probably. Or I could, just, I could just AP them. Fuck it. Don't risk it. Do not risk it. What's up, Krim? Uh, yeah, this is the first mission of the day. And Zakam, come here. I should have gone here, but that's fine. Overwatch prevention here. Exactly what I expected. Far enough away, that's not gonna matter. Yay! 105 bits. Things may not be perfect in next COM, but have some bits. And uh, he's in perfect position that Nestor can just come around and flank him. Hi. Bye. We did lose one due to my dumbness on that one move. But that's what's that. I mean, I'm distracting myself with the Omni Educate stay. I need to watch that. And it was just a rookie. We will be in Today I learned command. Tupperware is an LMM, LMM and not just what we call plastic containers. Yeah, it's one of those things like uh, band aids, tissue. Or not tissue. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, Band-Aid, which is basically just an LMM for uh, adhes or, uh, adhesive uh, bandage. Elsa, horrible. That makes me laugh. Okay, the satellite uplink is up. I don't actually think I have any satellites available at the moment. Nope, I'm building one. Uh, 160 to build the next one. I probably don't want to start it. Right now, even though we are doing pretty well on money. Oh, you know what? We have a lot of sector groups. Those I need to save, though. Those are going to be going to people. I could sell some meld. I don't think I can get up to four. Oh, actually, I can. Easily get up to 40. Oh, wow. Um, This will allow me to buy saddle another satellite right now and have that start building 25 days to the next satellite. And... Council report money can be used for more ships. They have sneakers. I don't know why I find that so funny. Yeah. Wait. Tupperware has sneakers? Is the one we still the same round from yesterday? Yeah, this is the same game. We're receiving several Thankfully. urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions A corridor with numerous vehicles. That means holiday. snipers. Um... I feel like I've been taking these guys too much, my corporals too much. I do want to get them levels, but like, they're already where I need them to be. So instead, let's... maybe another assault? I'm thinking actually another scout. <clears throat> oh no. 
That right there. The uh, 5 health, 14 mobility, 62 aim. We're making another suppression medic. And the button's gone, excuse me. We're going to make another suppression medic and then take our existing sniper. Hey, Vittorio, what's up, man? So, for anybody not aware, today I am doing one of my very special things, which is Omni Educates. Uh, hashtag Omni Educated. I have a lot of very random information in my head. Usually I do better than I am doing today. Uh, today I'm a little bit tired, but you know, whatever. Um... Do I want to give... He'll be fine. I'm going to use him mostly to be taking shots while the sniper sits back and does other things. Uh, actually, they may not. I swear I saw them somewhere, but can't find them. I've never heard of them having sneakers. But basically... <coughs> uh, ask any question. Any question that you can possibly think of on any subject. I'm getting a little bit of a bug here. Where my button down here is gone. Um, and I will answer to the best of my ability. Doesn't even need to be about XCOM. Can be about anything. Oop, I saw a carbine. You almost snuck that past me, cheeky fucker. I, I have a lot of random information and sometimes like to go on these tangents. God, that 15. Damn. We uh, have... You know what? You actually drop that. We're going to give it to you. And then I need a smoke on somebody. Uh, go ahead, take a smoke on you. I don't think... In a corridor with numerous vehicles, I'm, I'm not expecting to use an HE. Destroy cover. But yeah, if you ask me any question, I will try and answer to the best of my ability. And if I don't know, I say I don't know. I don't know. I've also had these uh, birdie bots every flavor beans for a while. I could do it if you can find a question that I can't answer. I'll eat one. But I'm tired. My brain isn't working the best, so fuck that. Because there's been several questions today where I'm like, normally I'd have that information in my head. I don't have it right now. It's the construction zone. Okay. One of my favorites, but still not taking the HE works on this one. The aliens move through the streets. We have to get a handle on this situation. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike That's okay for a move. You got so much mobility. I need to make sure everybody stays up with you. Why is it the price of diamonds are so high? It seems as if they're just rocks and quite abundant for the price. They are actually way more abundant than they than uh the than diamond marketing would let you think they are. Oh, it's go time. Oh Jesus. I did not expect them over there. You right at the start? No, don't just ask it in chat. Nothing special, just ask in chat. Um, diamond prices are, are what is called artificially inflated by the market. Basically, diamond companies want you to think they're rarer than they are. They're not. They're in fact very common, and usually uh, obtained through slave labor or uh, killing entire tribes of people. Uh, there's a whole blood diamond thing, which is actually quite tragic. So if uh, if a company says that they get ethically they uh, they ethically sor source <laughs> ethically source their diamonds, that's a big fucking deal, and you should always look for that if you want to buy diamonds. However, uh, the entire culture behind diamonds being the end-all be-all of romance is utter horse shit. Out. And they are mostly artificially inflated. They're, they're very common. Uh, if you want, like, rare metals or rare materials, you're looking at gold. Or, uh, the, the, or lithium. Lithium is ridiculously rare. Helium, right now, there's actually, um... You know those, like, balloons that you see in stores and everything? 
all the time? The world is running out of helium. We can't make lithium uh, batteries. We cannot make uh, most of the high technology stuff that we need for spaceships without helium. And people are fucking selling it in stores to fill up party balloons. It's weird. It's becoming more and more expensive, like gasoline and petrol, you know. Because we're fucking running out. It's weird. Is it weird that I look, uh, I like the look of Sectoids more in XCOM 1 than 2? No, in XCOM 2, they're, it, they, they hit the uncanny valley. It's weird. Wire cars made of aluminum instead of a more resi resistant metal. Uh, aluminum is lighter and cheaper to manufacture. Um, so instead of made of mostly steel, they started to swap to aluminum during World War II because uh, steel started to become a, a lot harder to get due to the uh, whole steel prices thing. Also a big thing on daylight savings time for that if you ever want to hear about that. Um, and yeah, that, that's basically it. Is uh, It's just cheaper to manufacture and lighter. Which, be thankful for that, by the way. That we're using aluminum instead of steel. I'm taking a lot of weird shots here. This is a very weird matchup. Damn it. And I'm sort of like sitting here going like, how the fuck am I going to deal with this? Maybe I should just start taking a lot of pot shots. I don't like the fact that he went to Overwatch. These guys... You know, he's flashed. I can probably deal with him and just rush up here. But this guy overwatching right now is what's really hurting me. I usually wouldn't take this shot because he could just walk over here. But since he's flashbanged, he'll probably stay in place. Uh, it's that guy that's basically slowing me down right now. Because he overwatched because he knows I won't move to the right to get that flank shot. Hmm. Most cars are usually made of a aluminum slash plastic composite, it's true. I don't even know what you were aiming at, but you took a long time to aim at nothing. Prevent the flank in the same way. He is not going to get flanked because he won't run over this way. Yep, he's going to overwatch. I don't have to worry about his overwatch. I do have to worry about his overwatch. He needs to go down. And reason the same airplanes are made of aluminum, light enough to fly and cheap. Yep. Um. So funny, funny story here. You're gonna love this. I'm in something called the SCA. If you don't know what the SCA is, it stands for the Society of Creative Anachronism. Um. It is a medieval recreation society, sort of like you know, like civil Civil War re reenactors and stuff like that, uh, or LARPers, except that there's less structure to it. It's Kind of hard to explain. We we dress up in costumes from the medieval era. We try to be very authentically medieval, uh, like a sword back here. Um, it, it's a big passion of mine. Always has been my whole life. My wife is very into it. Stuff like that. Uh, our wedding was actually based. Uh, it was actually SCA based. I wore chainmail for my wedding. Um, but a lot uh, a big thing of it is a lot of guys will dress in heavy armor like actual plate mail, and they will fight with sticks uh, in tournaments. And it's this huge thing. People get very, very injured, but they have a lot of fun with it. I need that guy to die. I don't like you. I need to just go away. You're, you're upsetting my calm. Um, and one of my friends, um, my, my DM actually for my D&D &D games, has a... Um, his shield is made of airplane aluminum. And there are some days when he, he'll be waiting to go fight. It'll be a very windy day. And I've seen him do this. He will attach a string or a rope to his shield. The shield that he blocks fucking guys with swords hitting it with. You know, hitting on it. And he'll fucking fly it like a kite. <laughs> the whole universe is made of helium? What the fuck, Hyper? I, I know he's flashed. I don't know if I want to rush him. Hyper, what the fuck are you talking about? The sun stars are made of... Yeah, we can't... You can't farm 
the sun. You talk about hydrogen. Dude, no. No, no. You're thinking about hydrogen first off. Second off, we can't exactly get to where stars have supernova. The helium is then used for more. Si no, dude, you are so off. Oh, that one cell, really? Dude, you are so off. Wow. Oh, that's close. That was close. Good. Okay, so we know we're safe now. That was the only one I was worried about. I did not like that movie, like, one cell forward there. Sort of put uh, Sakamoto in danger. Um, but the good... Th oh, wow, you really... I'm not... I don't know if I'm going to take that shot. Now, 30%? Maybe? Maybe, maybe. Depends on if Fernandez here can get a flank. I'm basically going to start moving my sniper up into a good Roger flank that. here on that right side and then force them into the middle. Uh, steady your weapon. They got the range bonus on us, and uh, when it comes to range, we actually have the, uh, the benefit. So I'm going to try and take advantage of this if I can. Hold them here with some full cover overwatches while I try and move everybody else up on the right. He does have a point about space travel unlocking more options for helium farming. Uh, actually, I mean, that that point is true. Farming suns is not a thing because they use hydrogen first off. If he could move through here without triggering the overwatch, she can move up. Um, second off, I mean, the, the, the benefits of space farming is, is going to be enormous, but any star that's gone supernova, um, it went supernova decades ago. If not centuries. If we see a supernova today, it's probably thousands of years old. Now, this is not to say that I'm not incredibly excited by the thought. Neither of them are overwatching. I don't know if this is safe. You know what? Yeah, because there's a mind fray there. Yep, we're fine. Okay. Uh, do you have a kill? You do not have a kill, and you have a flank high. The benefits of space farming will be amazing. Yes. Oh no, there's no way to prevent companies from monopolizing that. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's just going to be a thing that we have to put up with. Um, there's no way to. There's literally no way to regulate it. It is that the first trailer you know become due to asteroid mining. Yes. One thing I'm actually really looking forward to, and I really hope, is right now, right now, today, we just need to make a Dyson Sphere. Dude, all the sci-fi shit that you people are throwing at me right now that will never, ever, ever happen. I did not expect a four pod of uh, drones here, but this is actually good for me. This is actually, that's actually a really good activation. I have full cover all over the place and a shotgun close by. That's actually super good for me. That was actually a really good activation that I'm very happy with. Um, I was about to fangirl about moon, about a, a moon, a, a lunar base, lunar base, a base on the moon. Um, it is a concept that I'm super excited about. Everybody's all like, oh, we need to go colonize Mars. No, we do not. First, we need to go to the fucking moon and set up a lunar base. You know why? That's where we're going to build our fucking spaceships. There's a concept uh, called... Uh, to start off this whole thing. Start off this whole rant. Um, what is it called? Uh, there it is. Um, fucking... What is the concept called? Um, zero friction fusing. Zero friction welding. That was it. Zero friction welding. Two metals in space with vacuum. When they touch, they automatically the the they bond together in a way so much stronger than any kind of welding that we can design. 
here on Earth. Because there's there's vacuum between the cells. There's literally nothing between the cells, so they bond together permanently. When we weld, we're literally basically like overlapping. Um, we're basically taking a little bit of the metal from one end and then overlapping it to hold it together. Or when we use adhesives, we're filling in pores in between space. Welding literally just takes it and they just meld together permanently. It's it's indistinguishable from each other. So what we need to do is we need to go create a lunar base where it's so much easier to get out of the gravitational pull of the moon itself. And use that as a starting base. Vacuum welding. Yes, vacuum welding. Oh, oh man. It's an exciting concept and it's how we're going to get to the stars. Oh, I'm going to rant on this shit. So, so y'all are going to, you're going to hold on for, for just a second. <laughs> so you build a thing on the moon, right? You build a base on the moon. Getting out to the getting out to space again, fucking easy. Um, you get any ship out in the out in out in the out in the nowhere, to drag asteroids back to the moon. You got material. Make spaceships right there. You can make a space elevator on the moon that we cannot make on Earth because of the atmosphere, because of the ozone layer, because of gravity. You cannot do it on Earth. You can do it on the moon. Easy as hell. Use that as the jump off points for anything else we want to do. It works. It just works. And it's cheaper. It's more effective. There's less maintenance. Don't go to Mars first. The moon's right there. We've been there. We don't need to go to Mars first. The reason we, go to, we want to go to Mars is because it'd be easier to colonize because it has um, uh, arable soil. Uh, it has, um, uh, if we had the bacteria, you know, if we had the bacteria, we could actually farm Mars soil. Um, yeah, you don't even need a space elevator on the moon. It would just be a lot easier and a lot cheaper on material than, you know, jet fuel. Make a long runway accelerate to orbital speed to lift off. Yes, exactly. But uh, a space elevator would be cheaper on fuel, basically. Um, let's, let's catch up on chat here. Uh, spaceships that are effective in the future will be too big to be created on Earth. Yes, that's true. Um, I hate the fact that we're wasting so much of our very precious, very limited fuel on constantly spending, sending spaceships up from the Earth when we could just be sending them from the fucking moon and do it much cheaper and easier. Ugh. Isn't Elon Musk working on asteroid farming or something along those lines? He's trying to get off the planet. He wants to colonize Mars. I think more in the fact that he's really fucking sick of the planet, and I cannot disagree. I cannot disagree. <laughs> I just cannot. Ugh. I need to actually concentrate on game for a second. I don't even know where I am right now. Like, they were moving around while I was fucking fangirling all over the place. You. You need to die. You're the one I want to die. He's also working on asteroid farming. I haven't actually looked at what Musk has been doing for a while. He's trying his best to save this planet, and this planet is just fucking doomed. It's so hard, and I... It, uh... Roger. I've got my eyes on. Fuck capitalism, eat the rich. Moving out. Let's try and kill off the closest one. It's likely to come at me for a flank. He's out. Uh, then you back up. Out of line of sight, reload. You... I'm... Actually gonna move here, since we're kind of losing the right side here. Like, there's no more stuff on the right side. You overwatch there. Shang, there's no real good stuff for you, but you are holding them back. Those drones will run overwatch if given half the chance. He sent his car to space and is currently dooming at Tesla and roasting people on Twitter. Who the fuck do you get your information from? He just hit a 5%. That drone just hit a 5%. 
Do we have a shot on that Overwatch? Eh, we'll take a 50. I mean, I brought the sniper for a reason. That's fine. They'll need to reload before next turn. I do not like where that Overwatch is. We could, f uh, we actually probably a good idea to flash him just to get rid of that Overwatch. That way we can move up a little bit. These drones are not actually moving up to me. They only did armor damage to him, but they still hit armor damage to the five percent, which upsets me. It upsetty spaghettis me. Heading to that location. This will allow me to move up a little bit. Forty percent on drones. I will take. They are less effective at long range. They try and go for flanks, although apparently they That's fucking dead. hit five percent. Okay, Hyper, seriously, before you make claims like that, dude, you really, really need to do your research. Yeah, it's true, he sent his car into space as a weight-testing thing. It wasn't just as a joke. He was testing the weight limits and the, the, the weight suspension on the rocket. It just happened to be a convenient thing for weight. But before you make claims, you really need to do your research. Never, ever, ever believe sensationalism. Hey, Evie. I don't really want to advance on those drones. I keep expecting them to come at me, and they're not. Um, Hyper's making a bunch of sensationalist claims for stuff that he didn't do his research on, and that's about it. We're doing the omni-educated thing, and so far it's going okay. I keep losing track of where... I keep getting excited about topics like space mining and uh, losing track of where I am. Okay, I've got to get him out of there. They're taking 5% shots at him, but they're all advancing on just him. Watch the sides! Yeah, he's got to get out of there. Uh, yeah, the the politicians denying climate change is one of the biggest and hardest factors aye, aye, that is stopping uh, advancement as a race. Like, for example, a lot of people also don't know, uh, Musk is also one of the leading proponents in stopping the development of uh, artificial intelligence. And I'm not talking, like, artificial intelligence, like if and statements that you'll see in video games. I'm talking about the dangerous, like, I robot shit. There now. Duh. If you don't like competitive games, how come you really like Heroes of the Storm? I do like Heroes of the Storm. Um, I only play, I, I don't, I try to not pay attention to the competitive side of it. Aye, aye. The reason I get salty about it, oh, this is a good move actually. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. That drone is too far away to really be effective. Let's move up and use our shotgun to effectiveness. Hi. And that probably means we can move up next turn. He'll likely move up and take a shot at me anyway. But uh, I'm willing to take that on the armor. Yeah, he's moving to flank. He's dead next turn no matter what. A uh, little bit more damage than I expected. A lot more damage than I expected. Because he crit, but that's okay. AI like iRobot and Skynet? Yes, he's trying to avoid that, which is a very, very, very realistic possibility. He was actually working with Stephen Hawking before he died, uh, and a lot of other very well-known scientists to prevent that sort of thing from happening. Uh, Shang and Ag Agostini both got a promotion, which was not expected, but very, very welcome. You're going to go suppression, 21 days down, not a big deal, this early in the game. Uh, you go for Deadeye because I want you to be, uh, basically Deadeye plus Disabling Shot means that I'm taking down Cyberdisks. And stopping them from being dicks. We got one singular meld. I don't think there was any meld canisters on that map. I wasn't paying much attention. Uh, this is not a good game to be doing on Omni Educate's days. I need, I need to be paying attention to what's happening and I'm not. Our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Maybe I should swap to another game if I'm going to do an Omni Educate Day. AI is terrifying. I'll get more info later, but Google and Apple let some computers communicate with each other freely and they develop their own language in a couple hours. Yes. 
Like, in a couple fucking hours. We have an Omni Educate Day? Yeah, today is hashtag Omni Educate Day. Ask me any question. Any question. Reason Musk is... Okay, seriously. Hyper. Link shit? Or shut the fuck up. You are not allowed to make sensationalist claims unless you're gonna link unless you're gonna link source. You're making a shit ton of statements that are not true. Where am I sending this? We should probably consolidate in the United States. Because that's where we got all our stuff. So let's go send one to the United States. Do you like Earth Chan? Satellite launched. Sure. I think the t-shirt that they always put her in the NASA t-shirt, I think that's super cute. So that'll get us two engineers. Working on another satellite right now. Um, I really need at least... I want at least two more aircraft here before I start moving out. Is Earth Chan flat? No, and anybody who thinks so needs to be thrown off this planet. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the council. We have a council mission. Bomb. Target escort. Oh. Target escort with a Lance Corporal reward? Ugh. Politician from Nigeria who has once advocated cooperation with the aliens has now come under attack. <sighs> this dickhead. Actually, let's do a book series about what you uh, what would happen if an alien AI tried to invade the solar system in the future. What is Earth Chan? Yeah, yeah. Evie, take care of this, please. Get us some get us some good fan art links. It, the whole Earth Chan thing is a very funny little fan art thing. Uh, that came about because of the whole uh, flat Earth believer bullshit. Um, we should actually send a good squad with us, huh? Uh, one second. Timing out and purging hyper stuff. I'm... He's just throwing a lot of sensationalism around. I'm not listening to that shit anymore. Do we want to send the squad? We want to send a team, the whole cadre. On this mission, probably good. Probably a good idea because we're getting thin men on this one. So we'll send Ambrosia, Clipsite, Muse. That's a lot of shotguns right there, but it's okay. We we'll also send uh, Zakam out. We'll get a gunner, and I want to get another sniper. which is really high aim. Might also be a good thing to bring a Rocketeer. We're sending a lot of shotguns on this one. I need to have less shotguns and more long range against the Thin Man. Uh, so I did purge Hyper there, but seriously, whenever he comes back with, like, not sensationalist bullshit, he can talk. I don't allow sensationalist bullshit. Is that we're here for science, not the news. What do I what do I actually want here? We can assault a scout, a gunner for suppression. It's a toss-up. I might actually want to drop Muse for a Rocketeer. And then a sniper. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Um, sniper, sniper, sniper. I'm looking at Hamado here because of that 71. Uh, yeah, Hamado it is. Oh, there's also Figuero. Uh, with that zero defense instead. Well, we're not going to watch videos today. I mean, I'm still going to be playing the game, so, like, don't link shit. But... It, it, what I'm trying to two Facebook chatbots? No, I've seen that. I've seen that. It was two Facebook chatbots. I did. I did watch that. Though they did pair uh, an Amazon Alexa with a Google uh, a Google Dot, I think it was, and they did something very similar. Um, in either case, uh, try and stick to science questions today. Things about science, not sensationalism, and not the news. Yeah, let's take Hamado that four defense. Let's 
So if anybody wants to go like PM hyper and say less news, more science, I'd appreciate that. He is uh, losing track of what we're doing here today. Sensationalism is a thing that American news does really badly at. So you watch the BBC. Uh, here's, a, here's a very in, a very easy way to tell. You watch the BBC. They go to a disaster site. Say somebody's house burns down. For example, somebody's house burns down. The BBC goes to that person. They go, what happened? American news, sensationalist news, is trying to make sensation. So they will go to that person and they go, how do you feel about this? Nobody gives a shit how anybody feels, or at least you fucking shouldn't. Not if it has to do with events, and especially not if it has to do with science. Science is science. Black and white. Fuck that noise. Um... Saw LMG. Where we start... LMG. Squad side on this one. And get an alien trophy so you don't ever panic. Sniper already looks like VIP. I mean, maybe. Maybe not. You go for a battle scanner and ceramic plating. Uh, Eclipse Sight, go for... A motion tracker? Ceramic plating. You'll be my two forward scouts. You're already set up as you should be. I might... Now you got the SMG. It just doesn't look like an SMG in your hands. And... You know, I think this is actually a pretty good setup. We move forward slowly. Move forward slowly. But anyway, um... The only news I care about is science news. That's an easy way to put it. It's like, Listen if it's brand new stuff that is going to further the cause of humanity, operation. fantastic! If it's, this guy is a dick because he did this, that I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about morals. I don't give a shit about what you, uh, about your opinions. I don't give a shit about opinions. Science, we're here for science, people. The VIP for this operation goes by the name of William Thorne. He's an influential Thorne. politician suspected of collusion with the aliens. We need you to bring him in alive for questioning. Get him to the Sky Ranger for evac. New this objective dick. received. Um, there was yes, there was very recently in China. It wasn't a guy. First off, <laughs> uh, very recently in China, a uh, scientific team has actually succeeded, or has claimed that they have succeeded in gene-modifying two twin baby girls. Um, whether they actually did or not is, is still being found out. Uh, this news came out like a couple days ago. And now we get to listen to Thorn. Uh, yeah, I want an Overwatch for this turn. I don't think I'm going to get one. We'll get Zakam, like, here. Head into that location. And you Overwatch just in case something lands in this realm. I feel, Commander. And Thorn, I'm actually going to put you way back here. Hiding behind a dumpster where you belong, you giant sack of trash. Got it covered. Got it covered. Uh, but anyway, so China has claimed they have gene-edited baby girl, two twin baby girls to be resistant to HIV and AIDS. Which, if they had, fantastic. That's great news. Oh, wow, he's really far back. Shit. Huh. Yeah, that, that's, that's the thing, is if you're going to ask questions, or if you're going to talk about anything, or claim anything, have it under the science classification. 100 bits for science. Damn right, Dusty. For science! We are motherfucking science Valkyries here. This is the only thing I will accept, is science. Science is my girlfriend. Now, I was reading an article about it yesterday. It's it's very exciting. It's very exciting. Um, a lot of people... Uh, okay, sci-fi has ruined a lot of what people think. 
I have every right to do this. Because you're a dick. Is that a science publication? That's that's basically it. Did she blind you with science? Oh. Get me like I don't care what a girl looks like. Get me a smart girl, a smart gender of any kind. Just talk science to me, and and I will make sweet, sweet love to your brain. I'm waiting for this guy to come forward. I don't trust this right now. I don't know where this dude is, and I can't get up there, and I don't want to rush forward. I don't know, maybe I should take Amber forward and just try and, like, rush him, but that just sounds like a bad idea. It sounds like it'd be better for me to just overwatch. But we're giving him the advantage right here because we're all in half cover, and I don't like that. Um, I am going to battle scan up here. I don't know where this guy is, and it makes me really nervous. Motherfucker. Fuck it, Eclipse Sight. Out. You're moving in. I don't like I don't like that he landed up there. He landed in a really bad spot for me. And if he moves forward, he could very easily I fuck me. Like if he just moves around this end, he's got so much that he can fuck me with. Have you heard about Ionic Wind? In what context? Do you mean like the Dyson fan? I am not moving Thorn up there until we have full cover for him. Right in. And right now it's being taken up by my Rocketeer. Come on. Come on, you dickbag. Show yourself. I wasted a fucking battle scanner on you. There he is. And I actually have a clip site in a good position for him. Good, he gassed Amber, which is great for me. But she don't she don't need to move. The clip site does. Let's... That, that didn't touch him, right? No, he didn't. Okay. Getting it done. What's up, motherfucker? Fuck you. Really? Well, he still didn't get acid. Okay. A new airplane uses charged molecules, not propellers or turbines, to fly. The aircraft's the first of its kind to be propelled this way. That sounds amazing! That sounds incredible! No, I haven't heard of that! Heading to that location. That sounds so cool! Indoor test flights, a small plane which weighs about as much as a Chihuahua, traveled 40 to 45 meters for almost 10 seconds. Oh, man. I expect them to be using hydrostatic uh, anti-grav for planes in the future. Red is shame. You're moving out. Take this position, please. Um, Zakam, I would really want an Amber's position because we can't move there because of the acid. We will wait. You come here. We'll get another drop down. With a lot of Overwatch to handle it. My next guess is over here or down here for a drop in. Yeah, I fully expected hydrostatic electric, uh, hydrostatic anti-grav. Uh, don't copy and paste shit, unless I ask for it. I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> Nobody's gonna read that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you want, you can totally PM me some articles. And I will read the shit out of that. I loves me some articles. I'm curious right now. Oh. They're not coming through doors, but they're very close. Uh, I tend to, in this mission specifically, I, I do cheeky shit. I don't actually let the aliens know where I am, ever. Yeah, link the article in Discord. Because, uh, uh, like, I'm not going to take time out of, uh, out of, well, ranting. To, to read ridiculously long copy-pasted stuff today. But anyway, uh, my, my objective right now is to get Thorn out of there and watch the alleyway. Like, that was actually a really bad activation. We had no Overwatch on that. I thought that he would, but apparently not. Yeah, this is a bad activation. 
kind of what I expected. I thought that the sniper would have some uh, watch as apparently he didn't. Average American uses 50 pounds of toilet paper a year. Yes, I did. It's sad. Everybody hates it. But days are much, much, uh, days are much better. Um, so not ideal. We do have one shot. That's not a good one. Damn. Yeah, that was bad. That box is why I didn't get any overwatch on it. Fuck. Hyper, don't link in here. Link in Discord. Third time I've fucking said it today. In the last five minutes. I think I'm actually going to try and draw them to me. Drop loss. And try and draw them into me. I think that's going to be the better... I really need to get Amber out of there, but she's hunkering because of the asset. I don't want her to take any damage. I could give her some armor damage, but I, but she's got to stay there. I would basically waste her ceramic plate, and I don't want to do that. Um, but, like, she's in a very valuable position right now that I want other people in. That's affirmative. We also got to watch this ladder. Uh, go ahead and hunker there. Because you're only in half. Thorn, take a step back. No, I, in general, chat hyper, don't PM it to me. Fucking hell. I'm giving really simple instructions that you're fucking up here, hyper. Come on, man. This is what I wanted. And also, because there's no meld here, I can easily just take my time and Overwatch spam them. Let them walk into me. Did I? How does the boss thing on the so right work? The boss thing on the right work? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Sorry about that, Hyper. That one's on me. Uh, he just walked right into me and then walked... Oh, fuck. That's bad. And nobody got a shot on him. Fuck. That's bad. Um... I really wanted to use the rocket this turn. And now I've got a thin man to deal with. Fuck. Um, uh, the boss HP is taken down when anybody ever gives bits, and then the top person who has donated or given bits will become the next boss, I believe. I believe. I'm not entirely certain on that. Right now, it is held by the person who donated, uh, 50 bucks for Wolfenoot. God, I really wanted to use that. Fuck. All right, Hashim, you got to back up. I really wanted to, to to rocket these two, but with that asshole there, we got to back it up. Moving. I'm not worried about that Overwatch. It's from low ground through half cover. I was not worried about that. Uh, you, I'm going to have move up to here, though. Oh, no, because then we're going to get hit by acid. You know what? Mm, yeah. Unless food is mixed with saliva, you can't taste it. I did not know that. Everything takes P, donations, subscriptions, bits, whatever. Does the final blow is the new boss. Okay, there you go, there you go. Yeah, I did not actually know how that worked. Uh, you can take this half cover shot because you have low profile. Follows fine, because then Eclipse will just come out here and finish them off. Damn it. I should have moved him to there, too, for the CCS. Is that 77? No, I did not know that. That's interesting. Makes sense. I'm slowly starting to wake up right now. So, I don't want to approach these guys on ground. Even though I have the advantage of close range. Because that thin man is still up there and he might take advantage by walking forward. Wonder how that ties in with scent affecting taste? I, I don't know. The, we actually don't completely understand how olfactory senses work. 
It's a really weird thing. He's dropping his high ground. Well, he can get high ground back instantly if he wants to. Um, but I might run forward and snap a rocket into that. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually walk forward and snap a rocket into that after moving Eclipsite out. Or I could walk up here and snap a rocket at those dudes. That's actually probably the better option. Oh, I didn't think there would be line of sight for that. Okay, advance. That's good. Um, there, I could take the big risk. I could take the big risk. We have a two-cell drift. It's not good enough. That's a four-cell drift there. Let's try this. It's a three-cell drift, and I think that's going to be good enough to try out. Or I go for a shredder. Four-cell drift. Ugh. Now we'd have to destroy cover. Uh, Coca-Cola was not called Coca-Cola because it originally contained cocaine. It did originally contain cocaine. It was called Coca-Cola because it was made from the coca plant. Resell drift should not hit Eclipse Sight. I'm willing to try it because it might drift that way as well. Good enough. Fucking got a kill, destroyed some cover. That big worry was... That thin man, it's good enough. Uh, you're dead. I would like to take one of you out. That's an internet myth, though. Uh, well, a popular myth. Like uh, eating eight spiders in your lifetime. Not true. I need ammo. Ugh, damn it. Let's rock. All right, Amber can move forward. We could kill, kill. We got two dead there. The one in the back could potentially run. But if he doesn't... Oh, wait. We can still take this. We can do this. Amber, can you... You cannot shit. If she could reach there. You know what? I am going to try this. Copy that. I think Amber can pull this off That's affirmative. with a close range shotgun. Okay, don't do not do this do, did you know thing. That is not what we're doing here today, and you know that. Blinking one day equates to having your eyes closed for 30 minutes. Uh, depends on how often you blink. Yeah, that's that. not how that works either. Yeah, we're, we're here for hashtag Omni Educates. I don't know why you would go to weird internet sites like that. That That's not what we're doing here. On the move. At all. I don't know exactly what you were trying. Or what you were trying since you basically just let me flank you. My uh, Rocketeer's getting a surprising number of kills today. And the board is now clear. I really wish I could take this building. Oh, it's so good. Uh, you reload. It's a cam. I want you back up here. What are your thoughts on the EM drive? The engine that breaks the laws of physics. Which one? We've come up with like three in the past couple of years. <laughs> Heading to that location. All set. Good to go. You take that. Is an Iron Man suit possible? And if so, how would it work with flying? And what would work as the power source? Um, we have no idea what would work as the power source. It is... Only possible. The reason that we haven't really built one yet. Well, uh, let, you know, instead of instead of talking about that, let's talk about why we haven't built power suits yet. Okay. Let's talk about that. Oh shit! I didn't realize it's still back there. I did not read that the EM drive did not work. Let's do this. I would love some information on that. Um, the reason that power suits are not prevalent and do not yet work is basically because we don't have strong enough batteries. Um, and also, uh, well, you know that whole scene in Iron Man 2 where Hammercore is trying to make his own suit and it kind of snaps that guy in half? That's a real thing. It's mostly just because of the power source, though. Confirmed. 
It's honestly mostly because of the power source. Position confirmed. We just can't get a battery to last long enough. And not only that, but hydraulics are a thing that are not very well understood in terms of human limitations. We're getting close, though. We're getting really close on that. We're getting very, very close on that. Sorry, these come in so many small donations, dude. Sorry, these don't come in in so many small donations. Don't, don't, don't apologize for throwing money at me. Eyes <laughs> up. Somebody link me that YouTube channel a bit. I, I want more sources of uh, good popular science. I think I might be able to rush him. I'm not sure. Um, probably not because of where he is situated back here. He doesn't have line of sight on any of me. I think he might have line of sight on Thorn right now, which is a huge worry. I don't know if he does or not. I'm trying to get a good look here. Uh, yeah, he absolutely has line of sight on Thorn. Fuck. Well, that's what you're for. Ah! Uh, come on, please. Please. I can't. I can't go up anymore. Wait, I saw it. I saw it. It was right. Huh? It was there. Come on. There it is. I found it. Oh, fucking hell. Away. Shit. Okay, so he has line of sight on Thorn. That's super bad. We have got to take a big risk here. We've got to take... Oh, wait. Wait, if I can move into that space, that means he's not there. Fuck. I don't know where he dropped. Alright, we're gonna test something here. I'm gonna get into straight on line of sight, motion track. He's right there, which is still in line of sight. I've gotta risk it. I'm sorry, Eclipse. I, I'm very sorry. He's not there! The game lied! He still missed. Okay. The game fucking lied. But I've got line of, I No, I won't have line of sight at him after we move here. Fuck! But I can get Thorn out. Just run. Shit balls. That's bad. That is a sci-fi term, Hyper. Um, there are lots of things that would count as a possible uh, hydrogen reactor, depending on the context. You seem to enjoy buzzwords very, very much. Got it. Moving. Nobody has a fucking smoke bomb. What's making that noise? He ran! Oh my god. Oh my god. That was luck. That was 100% luck. Holy fuck. I got so lucky right there. He could have wrecked me. Holy shit. Okay. We got eyes on the entire va uh, on the entire alleyway right now. We got eyes of the building. We got rockets covering. Oh my god. That holy shit, guys. That was lucky. Yeah, I like that too. It really makes bits more viable. Oh, then they set the cap way up. And goddamn, like, bits are primarily the way that I make my money right now, so please, please spoil me. Uh, we should get one drop down. I'm really surprised we haven't right now.
Uh, link me that hyper because I have no clue what you're talking about. Enemy and I keep a lot of... Uh, I, I, I very much watch everything when it comes to new science and technology. I have no clue what you're talking about. That's a perfect spot for me. Hi. <laughs> How is only one guy firing at him? He's on a corner. What? Thank you. Oh, that's right. We, uh... We have that mod that uh, staggers their shots. So, suppress him. Get rid of his Overwatch. Well, we'll get rid of his Overwatch. All the bits I donated the past two days have been through ads. I only remember being able to get like 30 bits before they made you stop. Yes. It actually makes like watching ads purposeful instead of pointless. I like it. This is Sparta! <laughs> I really should have prepped that voice line for myself before I made that shot. Oh well, anyway, victory. Where are you taking me? I demand answers! You ran into there of your own free will, motherfucker. I wasn't holding your arm behind your back, I was shooting aliens. Save well, your life. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. Which I think are in the laundromat. Have a new objective. To that let's go on. Let's go some do some hunting. Weapons free. Oh, I was wrong. But I'm okay with that. Um break loss. So they come after you. Oh boy, here I go killing again. And let's set up some uh cheeky overwatch. Yeah, if you didn't know, uh Eclipse I did find out. Um, that uh, they do not restrict you on bit, and some of the ads you can watch right now give you like a full hundred bits to use. So you know, spoil me with bits, please. <laughs> you got a second, or go into the bathroom, or whatever. Hydroxy is basically the fastest combusting gas in the universe known so far. Anybody want to confirm that for me? I've got my eyes on. I haven't heard of this before. And from the stuff that Hydra, uh, that Hyper has posted so far, I am, I'm getting suspect of the information that he has. Are they like running backwards? Okay, so I'm gonna do something cheeky here. Because I don't know where they are, and I would like to. Bring We're just gonna pain. open the door. I would like to look through that wall, please. We door? don't have eyes on. I mean, I guess I could have just had Eclipse head open the door. <laughs> hey, Amber. Oh, oh, I see him right there somehow? Okay. I'll take it. And Amber and Eclipse Eye can finish this off. Close range shotguns is kind of uh, my strategy. At least my early game strategy. Wikipedia says it's about hydroxy. Hydroxy gas, a nickname for oxyhydrogen, a combination of hydrogen and oxygen gas produced from electrolysis of water. Interesting. No, this is new to me. I had not heard of this. Hey, promotion. A lot of promotions. That takes a solid effort. Wow. I mean, they did get most of the kills there. Ratio of 2 to 1 hydrogen oxygen is enough to achieve... Wait. 2 to 1 hydrogen oxygen... You, you mean water? That's... Okay. That's a chemistry joke. That's a chemistry joke. Ignore that. <laughs> That was a really bad chemistry joke. Ignore that I said that. <laughs> okay, we have a Sergeant Scout. Of course, I'm going to Battle Scanners. Why would you not? Eclipse Sight. This is a hard one. Not sure I can, though. 
What do you mean? I mean, Krem also gave me the Wikipedia link, uh, Wikipedia uh, definition, which sounds really good. I don't think I can forget. <laughs> a hydric acid joke. <laughs> I know. Um, first standard shot, maybe within four tiles of a truck is not cost an action. Can not combine with running gun. I think I usually go for hit and run, though that does give three extra will. I think I go for hit and run. Maybe we'll remember that. Right, because I usually jump out, hit and run, and then jump back in. Yeah, I always go for hit and run. And Baraka Hashim, our Rocketeer, got a promotion, which is great. A lot of people swear by Ranger. I like to go with Heat Warheads. First gas, which is used for welding. People didn't know its full potential for researching it more. It's news to me. And we got a new Lance Corporal as well. Not a Corporal, but a Lance Corporal. Uh, stats are kind of shite. That looks like an infantry. A bad infantry. Liquid... Oh, it's fucking aerosolized hydroxy. I know what that is. Fucking... I'm using a lot of words right here that don't actually fit together, sorry. But I know exactly what that is now. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, that's not in any way new. <laughs> we are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM. Um, it's just a basic different ratio of um Your recent results were beyond our expectations. Uh, liquid and oxygen. That is not a statement this council makes lightly. With a different mixture to liquidized hydrogen. Yeah, I know what that I know what that is. Ecological gas on earth because it's literally just uh, uh <sighs> electrolyzing water. We've been using that for years. That's not that's nothing new. I thought this was a new thing you were talking about. Okay, so hi. Nine hundred and eighty eight dollars, uh two scientists. I thought I was gonna get two engineers. Where are my two engineers from getting Maybe I don't get that every month, maybe that was just a one time bonus. One council mission completed, three UFOs shot down, abduction stop, four satellite launch, one research project completed, one UFOs rated three. It was a good month. That was a good first month. Remember, we will be watching. And all of that money right now. We got 848 from that. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad We could start a new satellite uplink. I wanted to start. Uh, we're waiting for this to be done before we start from the... What little I've seen of their technology... The aliens were intent on conquering Earth. There's Laboratory. And in the meantime, we're ordering interceptors. In Two there. Four now. There's a thermogeny. Good. And this is going to go straight into a laboratory. I know I'm supposed to be working on alien containment right now. I want to speed up research. Um, I could still build an alien containment or an officer training school. Maybe I should. What's up, Vittorio? Welcome back. Um... Should I save my money or should I build alien containment? We don't have the arc thrower for a long time. There'd be no reason to waste 10 power this early. Uh, officer training school is only one power, but I'd have no money left. Repair bay might also be good, but I'm thinking what I need to do is start to consolidate my power by getting access lifts down to this steam where I'm going to have my power here. This is only a temporary. Have I been chosen? No. We haven't gotten anybody new. The last one uh, chosen was... Zakam. What is the difference between a laboratory and a laboratory? Um, a, a German accent. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. This is month two, so we're going to get floaters and thin men. Expect contact shortly after touching down. 
That sounds like I need some uh, close range dudes. Let's start on a scout. B team scout here. I want good aim. I forgot to face palm out of the lurkers, right? Um, or maybe work on this medic. Now I want to start on a new scout, uh, which needs to be high aim, high mobility. But high aim, high mobility is usually related to rocketeers. So let's take a 13 with high aim and good HP instead. Actually, that one's not bad. Scouts do get a lot of aim. I'll go with the 13 here, though. It'll be a new scout. And engineer, and then an infantry right there, and then rooks. We still need to. We still need to be working on the rooks. We still need to be working on them. So we're sending up to three people instead of two this time. But this is basically a training mission, so we're going to start sending all of our specialists in. Why am I suddenly getting really dizzy? Oh my god. I didn't sleep very well last night. I don't know why. No real reason. Just plain didn't. Um, You know what? Let's not go with the battle scanner. Not this early. Instead, go with the motion tracker and some ceramic plating. Later than I thought, may have to head out soon. Gotta study. Ugh. I honestly may make this the last mission of the day. I'm getting remarkably busy. Or maybe switch to something more relaxing. Um, your, I like your setup already, actually. Stick with what you got. Infantry, go with the assault rifle. And I am going to start with the drum mags. And a laser sight on my infantry. It really takes down their mobility, but with a 13, that's fine. We're also in close quarters here, so this is a good setup for that. So laser sight, drum mags. Expecting my infantry to do most of the killing here. Uh, go ahead and get you a medkit. We haven't even had to use a medkit in a while, which I like. And you will get a smoke. Oh my god, you never mind, no. Uh, you get a smoke. That 14 mobility, though. Do you have a carbine? You do! I'm like, wait a minute. Why was there no negatives there? You also have a carbine. No carbines! No capes! Uh, see? You know what you're doing. What you're doing. Flashbang there. One flashbang. Smokes and explosives. We're set up pretty good. Dusty, another hundred bits. Thank you. Needs more science talk. Ask me them questions. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Am I not deep in mechanics? Why no carbines? Um, damage off, damage fall off basically. For for rookies, you want them to be doing enough damage to at least kill one sectoid in one shot. The assault rifle does three to five damage, which can kill a sectoid in month two in one shot. Still, a carbine has a damage fall off because the carbine gives plus six accuracy, plus one mobility, but only does two to four damage. So you'd have to get two carbine shots to kill a sectoid in month two. The bank. Down in Mexico for this mission. Okay. I like the bank. We're still Unless there's mutons. First, muton sightings in the centers. bank. We should get down there and secure the it area. It sucks. ASAP. It hurts. I hate it. I hate all about it. Oh no. Oh no. What's happening? Eclipse site. Hey. Leftover wallet funds were trapped within. It's. I've been looking at that for a long time. Thank you, Eclipse. Thank you. What's up, Andrew Dan? We're 
into the bank. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. So because we're going to get contact right away, I think they're in the alleyway here, which means we might want to set up for some overwatches Moving here. Out. But I want to try and take the roof as soon as possible. Where's this meld? Is it on the roof? No. It's right there. We got a line. We got a direct line of sight here, meaning that they. There's a pod here. And a pod here. They're gonna patrol around here. We want to set up Overwatches to say hello, without activating. I'm on it, Commander. A little angry. Need to chill off. Came to stream. Feeling better already. All right, Andrew Dan. Sorry that you're feeling that way, man. I hope we can help out. Position confirmed. Rolling. Aye, aye, Commander. Now, if we can do this right, and they do patrol my direction, which hopefully they listen to the arrows, they'll be walking right into Overwatch. Uh, or a pot of Thin Men could walk into Overwatch. Oh, damn! Nice shot. But see, if that had rolled one more, that would have been an instant kill on a thin man, which is what I was hoping for, but I won't argue with it. It looks like that patrol did travel that direction. Shotguns up to the roof, if you please. Uh oh. Oh, no. Wait. I thought Seekers were month two. It appears to have a sophisticated evasion system as well. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. I thought Seekers were month two. Um... That's a problem. And now my brain suddenly wakes up. Oh, shit. We have a smoke bomb here that I may have to use. Oh, this is bad. This is super bad. Um, that's probably not going to do enough damage to kill him. That would, but only at half percent of shot. Um, take it. Damn it. We need to smoke them. Uh, back in this corner here. That way, uh, Seekers cannot take advantage. Clouds away. I probably should have fallen back there. Shit. I'm being hit on two fronts right now is painful. Alright. Some mod. Jump up here. Draw fire with Dimitrikos here for a flank. Uh, I don't have, I don't use red fog. I used to use Red Fog until I found that it was basically more detrimental to me than it was to the aliens. I'm pinned down. Perfect, perfect. They're not moving forward. They're not moving forward to flank her. These two I am very upset about, though. Um, game. Oh! One more secret out there, too. I'm not liking this at all. They've got me locked down. They didn't suppress my infantry? She's the most dangerous one there right now. Okay with that. 
Okay, uh, they just gave us the advantage. Nice. I like how we had to stop suppressing and then bounced. Uh, you... Cannot take advantage of that, but hunker anyway. It'll still prevent... Your placement will still prevent a flank. Come here. No overwatch. I expected an overwatch shot. That didn't happen. Um, I think he mixed up you and Dusty. Giving hugs. Okay, so that Seeker is coming in for a hug. This should be okay to move. I think we're out of line of sight of that overwatch. Yes, good. Um, hold them until we have more people in position, please. Because this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. They're doing exactly what I want them to do. Oh! Oh! It's good! That's fine. She's basically hunkering this whole match anyway. Man, that was good. A 17 motherfucker. Yeah, you did. You thanked Eevee. So if this goes wrong, they could pop right up to the roof and take us out in flanks. So I'm hoping this goes well. Nice. I could pop here and get a flank if anyone else back here can get lucky good or, or, or just lucky shots on these dudes. Or... We just walk up and grenade the one back there. If we can reach that grenade, we've got a kill, and we can finish this whole map right now. That would require running through acid. Uh, oh, why? I'm on it, Commander. Oh. Oh, it's one cell off! Shit. Ah, one cell. Or, wait, she's not acided. She does not have acid on her because of the med kit. You still do. I can't do anything with you right now. Oh, man. Fuck. I don't think I want to run that. I could run the suppression and get hit right away, and that sucks. Uh, fucking one cell. One cell and I would have had it. Oh well. Eating is important. It's true. Hey, let's just see if we can get a quick... Uh... Nope. Okay. I was hoping to be able to just like point my gun over the roof and just work. Uh, they're repositioning, but not in a good way. Instead, they're changing who they're suppressing. Cool. Oh, you think because you hit that 17 once, you're going to hit it again? Fuck you. Asshole. But guess what? I have fucking shotguns ready for you. Samad can actually move. Oh shit. 
I didn't realize there was another pod left. Um. Well, bye. You're still acid, so you don't do anything. Ah, uh, that blows. I was hoping to do other things here. Oh well. Rolling. Oh well. We can at least take out these two thin men. I was just hoping for some kills for the rookies. You totally had luck with the grenades today, unlike yesterday. The philosophy is don't worry about others until I make sure I've taken care of myself. Yes. That is a very good rule to live by. That's what I live by as well. Uh, especially because of all my health problems. I can't always save other people, but I can always save myself first. And that's not even a selfish thing. It's like, I, I literally won't have the energy to take care of other people unless I can take care of myself. Speaking of food, I am getting hungry. Um... That's an engineer. I could run Marad up and take both overwatches if I wanted to, but she wouldn't be able to do anything. Which would allow Campbell to move up and grenade both of them down. Or Keats here. Samad also has a grenade, which I might want to use as the final kill. If Campos goes here, doesn't die to the overwatch, good, and then gets a flank. Kill on you. You're all important. It's true. I'm just more important. Um, actually, you know what? We could get some mod out here to get a flank on that. So let's run Maraud to take the Overwatch. Moving to position. Shit. I'm taking fire. We're only taking the one overwatch. Nope, there it goes. There it goes. I'm like, he should have line of sight on me. Okay, Samad so moves up, crit, kill. Campbell likely runs up and grenades him down. But at least Samad gets a kill here. Hopefully, I mean, it might not kill. It might not. Good. Uh, unfortunately, Dimitrikos was out of this fight the whole time. Well, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, all joking aside, yes, always take care of yourself before you take care of other people. If you don't have the health to take care of other people... You're going to be no use to anybody. Mission accomplished. And also, if you're unhealthy or you're upset or you're angry, the advice you give other people is compromised. Campbell got a promotion. Uh, engineer, let's, of course, I really like my smoke and mirror engineers. I don't like heat engineers. Campbell's got a promotion. Good. Uh, crit tree, or do I want to make a covering fire in? I like Crit Ventry. I'm sold. I'm sold on the Crit Ventry. Can't help myself. 13 meld. Not bad at all. 13 meld, 80 touch, bucks. Commander. Uh, how are my injuries right now? I haven't checked that for a bit. Like, do we actually have infantry? Uh, we've got wounded 8 days, wounded 12 days. Not bad. Actually not bad. 200 credits. Do I want to spend it on something? Gonna walk to clear your head for it? Good idea. Good idea. If you're emotionally compromised in any way. It's always a good idea to take a walk. Always, always make sure to take time for yourself. I want to save money and keep moving towards that steam vent. I 
think I made that decision before, didn't I? Or, alternatively, I can start another satellite. Now we only need one more. We're going to need another satellite uh, nexus before we can really take advantage of that anyway. I could also start working on a satellite nexus right now. Save the money. Alien weaponry. Yeah. Scouts. Skeeps. And then rush beam. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Scoops. Scoops. And we're going to let this sit for a second. I'm going to go uh, rush B. Yeah. Rush B. Um, I am going to go get myself something to eat really quick. While this just sort of runs. So I'll be right back. My mic didn't unmute. <laughs> so, um, I just came back and I had a thought that, um, I'm really out of it today. So, I'm gonna stop XCOM Long War a little bit early today, and I wanna swap to something else. Um, probably, maybe a multiplayer game if we want to, something a little bit more relaxing. But for XCOM Long War, I'm gonna call it a day for today. We're gonna be back tomorrow with more of this. Hopefully I'll actually get some fucking sleep. Uh, but for now, we're gonna stop XCOM Long War and move on to, I don't know. I'll take some suggestions. We'll restart the stream. And I'll take some suggestions on what I should play. Um, but for now, if you're watching this on YouTube, and I will edit this down a little bit, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when I post things. I don't post things every day, but when I do, it's a big deal. Because I'm a big deal. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later. And I'm probably going to continue with more XCOM Long War this week, but I'm going to restart the stream right now, and we'll decide on what else to play. So I'll be right back.